Uh, well, for starters, I think uh, drug abuse, as the word suggests, it, 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 it's abuse and it's, it's, it's not encouraged in sports, number one. And I think uh, it, it, it's uh, a vice that, you know, unfortunately people encourage and uh, people get to use to enhance, you know, sports performance. And I, I wouldn't just say it's, it's something that happens only in basketball. It, it happens across the board in, in, um, in all sports, uh, different disciplines, which have ended up affecting them and, you know, making them have um, a, a derog derogatory kind of lifestyle and uh, has affected them to the point that, you know, they cannot execute or, you know, do what they previously could do. So I, I think it's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's something that, you know, I personally don't encourage and uh, I think uh, we, we need to devise means of, you know, stopping the consumption of these drugs. Well, there have been cases of people that I know personally and even some friends that have gone through here rehab and the whole process, but then they've had relapses. If you take somebody through the rehab system and then they relapse, that means the system is not entirely working. So I think it, it's a very good and positive initiative that they want to go further than rehab to avoid the relapse, to make sure that you know you, you get these people back as responsible people and that can be able to contribute to the success and growth of the, of the country, whichever society in which they are. And uh, I believe it's a very, very good point that uh, Life Redefined has started, you know, to make sure that we can go the extra step. Because I think the system, or whoever it is that is doing what they're doing to help with the drug abuse problem, is not going deep enough. People who are involved in uh, the drug abuse usually are searching for themselves. They're searching for an, for an identity. There's something they're yearning for that they don't find, usually, in uh, the day-to-day activities that they do. So they have a corner. There's, there's a voice that they're listening to. That voice needs to be reached out to because that's where the real problem is. And I, I think getting beyond rehab and working with rehab, but then getting to the spiritual side of it because there's that voice that we don't see that they are listening to, that is always speaking to them and feeding their minds to go and find a comfort zone. So substance abuse is, is just... It's a space that these people find. It's their happy space. Okay, so they find a lot of comfort there and they feel that that is their escape from the things that, you know, they could be going through. So I think we need to address that. And I, I think, uh, according to the vision of this, of, of life, really fine international, I think that's the area they're going to point into and I think it, it will be a very, very good support addition to the systems we already have to address this. Okay, whoever is out there and having drugs, you know, maybe you've been stigmatized by society, society looks at you as a reject, maybe you feel like a reject, maybe you feel you've come to the end of the world and you look at yourself as a worthless person, you look at yourself as somebody that can't do anything constructive because of the addiction or the situation in which you are. I just want to tell you that, you know, there is hope. You just need to build capacity within you. The same voice you listen to is the same voice you should shut out and replace that voice with a higher voice that tells you who you were meant to be, who God created you to be. Because God created you. How come other people succeed in whatever endeavor they, they get to do and you cannot? You see, they have the same features that we all have. We just need to shut out that negative voice. The voice that sends you to do the wrong things. You need to shut that voice up and tap into the voice of the one that created you to, sub to, to overcome any challenge, to overcome all the hardships that you could be going through at that point in time. Allow yourself to make mistakes. The biggest step that you can take is to take responsibility of where you are. So allow that, yes, you have failed. Allow that you're there, not because of your, your desire, but now, after that responsibility, you then now start, to, start making amends. There will be people, Life Redefined International is here to help you. There are other structures that are there to help you. So there's always hope. There's hope. Don't get down and, you know, 
beat down on yourself. No, there is hope and you can get and overcome that situation and become a responsible citizen. Mm -hmm.